so I'm just taking a walk. No, I don't need to talk retarded like that. Decided to go to In and Out. I didn't bring my wallet, did you? No, I didn't bring nothing. You got no money? No. They don't take Samsung Pay? Actually, I they do. They do take Samsung Pay. So oh. if we wanted to, oh, but we just ate. Yeah. And we're not in a vehicle either. Oh, you're right. <laughs> oh, I didn't think about that. So anyways, we're taking a walk around the neighborhood. It's about two o'clock-ish, probably, something like that. And uh, it's not raining, it's been raining the past few days. So it's sunny out, it's still a little bit chilly in the 60s, it's breezy, but it's nice walking around in neighboring neighborhoods Neighborhood. that I've never really been in before. See what type of houses they got, see if they keep it. Um, clean and neat and organized, or if it's just a shit. -a. This neighborhood isn't that bad. This one? Hmm? Yeah, it's not. It's actually it's like, like I haven't seen a shitty house yet. Yeah, they're like semi and new. Yeah. And that, or maybe they're refurbished. Most yeah. Of these. Maybe. Like this one's being worked on. They're painting it. Oh, they just oh, painted yeah, it. Yeah, you're right. But yeah, something. There, there's an in and out kind of close to my house. And, uh,. I was just always kind of curious, can I actually walk there instead of driving? Because like the way you get there kind of, it's next to the highway, so I don't know if we gotta go the driving route or if we can actually cut through the back corners because we're on foot. This house is okay, right? Yeah, the, the, the roof is not expensive, right? Yeah, those, those are usually more expensive for sure. Cold. What are we about to do? We're about to... No, no, I'm, I'm the one that's asking the question. What are we about to do? We are about to... Oh, one second. Wow, you don't have to follow me. This cameraman got him a fiber. He sucks. So, um, Maxi Edge. These are string trimmers. And what are those things called again? Those weed whackers? Yeah. Or... There's a weed whacker in the shed. Or is it a weed trimmer? Weed trimmer doesn't matter and uh, hey there you go and um the backyard is getting very rowdy rambunctious and it's just a mess and we want Riley to have safe fetch location you know go nice and far run spread her legs spread them you know so <laughs> we bought this and we're gonna try to cut it ourselves today it's been raining the past couple of days so we couldn't but today it's nice and sunny. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful just day. Just like Roger said. And uh, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna get this started. Alright. So right now we're putting the trimmer line on the whatever the heck that thing is called. We had to watch a video though to know how to properly attach it. Are you sure that's not too long? Oh that might not. Yeah, we'll see. And then now we have to put it back on here with the spring. I don't know how much we're supposed to cut. Um, I think that's fine. You held one side. You're so strong. <laughs> I don't think I did anything. Maybe. Oh yeah, you have to stick the string through the holes. These. Very nice. Okay. <laughs> Something we almost forgot are earbuds for the weed eater. I'm just gonna go without sunglasses because it's like going in and out. You already put yours on? Yeah. These are the steps we're gonna have to do. We already started it the other day before we had the weed trimmer string, trimmer line, more like. So we know that it works and there's some gas in there and there's also 
additional gas in the shed. 10 times. Move it to one. Squeeze throttle. And then pull five. And then move it to two. Is it supposed to turn on? No, I don't think so, not yet. Move it to two. Pull three to five times to start engine. Because we want to warm it up. Oh, it speeds it up? What? It speeds it up when you press it? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so he already went through the stairs with the weed trimmer and then afterwards I put on a pair of gloves and pulled out some of the roots, cleared out the sides and cleared out the stairs itself. There's a bunch of snails around here. <laughs> there were some earthworms, haven't seen those in a while. There's a snail right here. And then I think he did some more up top, I haven't been up there in a bit. There is so much back here. are so I feel so dehydrated like my lips are so dry these past few days way more than normal and it sucks what the fuck is in her eyes Milo, we're guessing up right now, and uh, I gave Michelle a glove, and it turns out that she, uh, I gave her one glove so she could use that just to grab the handle, to press the buttons. You, you see that left hand that has no glove? She used that glove to, um, I mean, she used that hand to press the button. So dirty. She also touched her face when she's not supposed to. Sometimes you're not aware of these things and um, it's hard to adjust with this whole virus shit that's going on. Look, you see the glove? There it is. Hopefully she tosses it before she opens the door. Hey, go! Oh, okay, yeah. nothing, nothing. She knows. She knows I didn't have to tell her. I'm so confused. Yeah. It kept stopping. I didn't fill it up all the way. But like... It does that sometimes. I was trying so hard to use my foot to push the thingy onto the thing so I didn't have to squeeze it the whole time. I guess it wasn't working. <laughs> <laughs>
You think you'll do it? Mm-hmm. 